Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Hugo Fasicletti, and I am a technical program manager on the HPC and AI benchmarking team on Azure. Today, I will explain how to run the GPT-3 models with NVIDIA Nemo Megatron on Azure's NDM A100 v4 series. The NDM A100 v4 virtual machines are powered by eight NVIDIA A100 80 gigabytes tensor core GPUs and NVIDIA InfiniBand networking. The GPT-3 models on Nemo Megatron utilizes CycleCloud to provision and configure the cluster. If you don't know how to set up your Azure CycleCloud cluster, I invite you to start by watching the corresponding tutorial on our channel. Benchmarking with Nemo Megatron consists of three main steps. First, we will set up the environment and download the container. Next, we will quickly test our machines and the environment. And finally, we will run the benchmarks using the 5 billion parameter model. Let's get started. As you can see on this console window, I have my scheduler and two compute nodes up and running. They are called Nemo NDM v4, PG0, 1, and 2. The first step is to set the number of nodes in your cluster. For this tutorial, I will use two nodes. Next, we will need to download the Nemo Megatron container from NVIDIA NGC website. For that purpose, one needs to save the NVIDIA credentials. The credentials must be available to all nodes. Thus, I am changing the permission and creating a temporary folder in my shared directory. You can copy your credentials directly from NVIDIA NGC by clicking on your user icon, then on Setup, Get API Key, and finally click on Generate API Key. The last line here is your password to download the container. Now on your console window, paste the command while adding your password at the end of the line. Once the credentials are saved, we will proceed with downloading the container and extracting the scripts from Nemo Megatron. First, we will make another directory where we can save the scripts. Next, we update the Docker root directory in the Docker daemon configuration file to specify the path to save the image. I am adding the data root line here, which will link to a data folder under the recently created scripts directory. Finally, we set the driver capacities before starting the setup. Now you can pull the Nemo Megatron container and extract the scripts that we will use for training with this command. This may take a few minutes. You can find the list of the dependencies in the file requirement.txt under the scripts folder. I will proceed with downloading all the dependencies in a simple pip3 command. Now that it has downloaded the requirements, I am also installing TensorBoard as it will be used at the end to visualize the results. You are now ready for the second step. This step consists of running some tests on our NDM A100 v4 cluster. Before we start running tests, we will need to modify a few scripts to point to the correct versions of software stacks like HPCX and PyTorch, as well as add important flags like number of GPUs per node, eight, for the NDM A100 v4 series. I will run a series of SCD commands to adapt the common scripts to Azure's environment. First, I am using Ubuntu HPC 2004 Marketplace image on the compute nodes, so I need to update the script with the correct version of HPCX that will be used for the nickel tests. We'll also need to update the PyTorch container version. I will be using the version 22.6 instead of 21.09. And as mentioned earlier, we'll be using eight GPUs per compute node. The scripts are now updated. Next, we will need to generate the topology file for Azure and copy it to all the compute nodes before we run the tests. Then we will need to change the partition name to specify NDM before. It has to be done in the file cluster validation.sh.
this change must be lane made on line 143. We are now ready to run the DCGM diagnostics and the nickel tests. It is expected to take approximately 30 minutes to run both, as it needs to first build the tests before running them. Here, I am adding a nickel flag at the end of the command to run exclusively the nickel tests and save some time. Once all the tests have passed, it means that our cluster is healthy and we can replicate the impressive results that we shared in late October 2022 on Azure.com and in the Azure High Performance Computing blog. If you haven't seen them yet, now is a good time to check both resources. Last but not least, let's run the GPT-3 models. First, we need to adapt the configuration files to the Azure's infrastructure and specify the models that we want to run. This means that we will first change the partition to NDMV4 in the file bcm.yam. Then, we update the number of files we want to use for this run. Here, we will focus on shards 0 and 1. The most changes are needed in the configuration file config.yam. We will need to download and pre-process the data. So run data preparation is the only flag that we will keep as true. Then I am specifying the correct path to the scripts to save the data set. I also need to mount some volumes and add the topology file we generated in the previous step. Finally, I am changing these three flags specific to InfiniBand on Azure. The scripts are now ready to obtain the dataset. I will use this command to run the script. This step will take approximately two hours. Now that the data set is correctly downloaded and saved, we can run the benchmark. As you remember, we focused on two shards, zero and one. We will need to indicate that in the scripts used for training by giving them equal weights of 0 0.5. Today, we are focusing on the 5 billion parameters model. But if you want to run a bigger model, you must do the same in the corresponding configuration files. Now in the main script, to start the training, I will be turning run data preparation to false and run training to true. Finally, I use a similar command as previously to run the model. I specified the benchmark, number of nodes, and most importantly, the number of steps. The model takes several thousand steps to train completely, but the time per step levels off in the first 200. For benchmarking purposes, we are interested in the average time per step at steady state. Once the 200 steps have completed, we will calculate the time per step. To do this, we'll need to open another console window. We connect using the following SSH command. Next, we start TensorBoard and point it to the results directory. 
Here, in the web browser, I can visualize the results under the train step timing window. First, I will zoom out since the current scale is one tenth of a second and shows meaningless oscillations. As you can see on this graph, the steady state has been reached before the 20th step. Calculating the average of a few steps at steady state gives a good indication of the time per global step. For example, step 149 took 37.5 seconds, step 159 took 37.51 seconds, and step 169 took 37.55 seconds. Thus, the average is 37.5 seconds per global step for the 5 billion parameter model on Azure. You have now successfully run a GPT-3 model of Nemo Megatron on Azure. We hope you find this content useful and don't hesitate to follow this channel for more content on how to use Microsoft's HPC and AI offerings. Have a great day.